today we are making chocolate covered strawberries and we are using these Lily's baking chips I got at Walmart, but here's another brand that's good, Bake Believe, and you could also order like Chalk Zero online. So the first thing you do is microwave your chips in intervals of 20 seconds, stirring in between. And look at the microwave, oh my God. Okay. So we're just gonna wait about 20 seconds. I fell off the wagon big time. It's all good. I was off keto for three days this past week. Had so many good carbs. Anna made like the greatest stuffing I've ever had. The turkey was so bomb, but it was totally worth it. I'm like not stressing at all. I'm back on keto and I'm feeling great. All right, 20 seconds. We're just gonna stir a little. It's hard to do this with one hand, but all right. I think it needs to go back in a little longer. Oh, thank you. All right, so 20 more seconds and then we stir. I just wanted to let you know, you don't need to do keto. The only thing is a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter what you eat. Shout out to Keegan. That's actually kind of true um, to an extent, but keto makes that journey of being in a calorie deficit a thousand times easier. So I definitely recommend keto, even if you are doing a calorie diet. All right, we're gonna take them out and stir. Konita, my blood work is actually great. So Anna is stirring these chips. As you can see, they're almost perfect. Maybe like 10 more seconds. I think it's pretty, I think it's actually You think it's ready? Perfect. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna dip our straws in the chocolate mix. Yo, what's good, Cloud9 Keto? I actually need like 10 more. Yeah. Ten. Cindy, you cheated this weekend, but you're picking yourself up again. That's what I like to hear. That's what it's about. It's about realizing that the slip ups don't define your entire journey. They're not going to derail your three months of progress. It's like you gain a few pounds, you store some water, and then it's gone within a few days. All right, now we are going to um, dip the straws in the chocolate. And it's literally that easy. But we're also going to microwave, thank you. We're also gonna microwave some of these white chocolate chips and drizzle that on them. So, um, so we're gonna do the same process with these white chips while I coat the straws. And Anna's going to do that. Do you have parchment paper? Uh, yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Oh. We can put it into the baggie. So once the white chocolate melts, we're going to add it to a baggie like, th like this. And we can do that on camera. Okay. Here we go. one and you could use a toothpick but two all right those tenders that you made look fire they were so good they're actually just the pre-made tyson blackened tenders but the sauce was the recipe i made which part of my three-day carb fest this past week, I had some raisin canes for the first time and it was so amazing. Oh my gosh. What is a Valentine's strawberry, John? Chocolate covered? Okay. This one's like really covered. My fingers are getting really messy. I'm thinking we'll just do like two more. Oh, using a fork is such a good idea. Yes. I mean, at this point, I'm like, done. Or you could just take them by the stem and then twist. Mm. Just twist. Good idea. Yeah. See? Yes. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to drizzle the white chocolate on them.
say just do it like this. So you may not need to put it in a bag. Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you don't even have to put it in a baggie. You can just drizzle it with a round fork like that. Oh my gosh. These look so good. And you also have to be careful not to over, um, like overcook it in the microwave. Yeah, that's why you do 20 second intervals because yeah. if you overcook it, it's going to become... It hardens up again. Yeah. And then there's no turning back. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much. Alright guys. I have some in the I have some in the freezer that I'm gonna show you. All right, and now you just put them in the freezer until they harden, and voila. I like Anna's decoration better. The way she drizzled with the spoon. <laughs> Yes, Donna, you already know the vibes. Hey. All right. I'm going to take a picture of these. I mean, it doesn't have to be a great picture. We have a lot of keto haters in here tonight. I only put a toothpick in one of them, but they hardened up pretty well. These hardened fast. I literally froze them for like 10 minutes, right? Like how long ago would you say I put these in the freezer? 10 minutes ago? Yeah. These froze very fast. How many of those can I eat? I wouldn't eat too many um, because you're using a lot of chocolate. And the straws, obviously, the carbs are going to add up for those. Oh, this looks yummy. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go. Um, let's try a different angle. Uh, we got the lilies from Walmart, and we also used Bake Believe for the white chips, which were also at Walmart. All right, these look bustin'. Let's eat them. Wait, no, is it back? Check out the Christmas decorations behind us. We got this little tree today. Do you want to come take a bite of one and let us know your thoughts? Sure. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. These are so good. Mm -hmm. Do you like them? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Anna likes them too. They taste exactly like a regular. Yeah, the Lily's chips are like so similar because I don't know what it is about them, but we also use the caramel ones. So, all right. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. Penny, we did not add oil to the chocolate when melting, but you definitely can. Can I coconut oil? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Sometimes people add like coconut oil and sweetener. Oh no, Sarah, we will definitely pray for your dog, for your family. Oh my God. Did you guys see that? <clears throat> I brought Harley over to get spiritual and she attacked Emma. Try dipping them in Chalk Zero's Nutella. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yo, what's good, Dior? When are you going to put a ring on it? Maybe I already did. No, he, maybe you already didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I always try. Anytime she has like a normal ring, I practice proposing to her. But she... She never says yes when I practice propose. All right, we're going to get spiritual up in here. And Emma's trying to play with us. All right. Emma, oh my gosh. Your dog looks human. Uh, that's because she is human. All right. Yo, Lord, please be with anybody who is struggling on their keto journey and help them realize that they have the power to change their eating habits. Thank you for bringing this amazing community together. We're so blessed to have each other. And most importantly, thank you for giving us life because every day we wake up is truly a blessing and we should never, ever take that for granted. Amen. Yo, I feel you, Guinness. I feel you guys. <laughs> um, all right, so also we're going to do a prayer for Sarah and her family. They lost their dog. So dear Lord, Please be with Sarah and her family and help them get through this loss of their dog and just help them know that it's up there watching them from heaven. Amen. All right, let's get this breathing exercise in. Breathe in feelings of gratitude. Hold it and feel your body relaxing. Breathe out any stress or negativity. Breathe in feelings of inner peace. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any tension or anxiety and remind yourself that everything's happening exactly as it should be. Breathe in feelings of self-love. Hold it and feel your body continuing to relax. Breathe out any self-doubt or negativity and remind yourself that you are beautiful and you are worthy of reaching your goals. All right, let's get this visualization in. Oh, Anna also put up some more Christmas decorations if you can see without Emma's tail in the way. And then we hung these lights around the door. We're not going all out with decorations this year because we're getting the house um, in like March and we don't want to, like we don't know what the Christmas vibe is gonna be like there. So we're gonna wait. We and don't have space here. Yeah, we also are like crammed in here. Emma takes up half of this entire apartment. All right, let's get this visualization in. Close your eyes, relax. Imagine that you are at Thanksgiving dinner and imagine you had some carbs and imagine you went to bed feeling kind of crappy about it and imagine the past few days you woke up and you had more carbs and you just got into this cycle of feeling guilty about all the carbs you had and you just kept eating them to make yourself feel better about beating yourself up for the carbs you had. And then imagine tomorrow morning you wake up you go into work and they bring in donuts or leftovers. And imagine as you're sitting in the lounge room at lunch, they break out those leftovers and offer you some. And imagine you look at them and you say, I used to think I loved these, but now I know the truth. I don't want these. I don't need these. And nothing good would come from having these. And imagine you forgive yourself for the slip-ups you had the past few days. And imagine that you realize you don't even need to forgive yourself because you're not a bad person. You didn't do anything wrong. It's normal to eat carbs on the holidays. And imagine you eat that salad you brought for yourself, feeling totally calm and totally in control and truly enjoying your keto food because keto food doesn't have to taste bad. If you're craving chocolate-covered strawberries, you can just watch a video like this and make your own. So just imagine a version of yourself who can calmly turn down the carbs 
and be happy with your choice to stay keto. All right, guys. I love you. I believe in you. I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed night.